Riding the waves is the most beautiful thing there is. It's the moment I really feel free. Uh, I become one with the elements and I play with the wind. It's the only real wilderness we have left in the Netherlands. My name is Marijn Tinga, the plastic soup surfer. Two years ago, I built a board made from plastic trash I found on the beach, and I surfed that from Belgium to Germany, just to show how much plastic litter washes up on our beaches. While the board was far too heavy, I had to give up after 350 kilometers. My coming challenge is even bigger. I want to cross the North Sea from Scheveningen to Lowestoft on a board made from littered single-use pet bottles. What I want is to prevent that stream of plastic litter to see. And we can do that by deposit return fee on those small single-use pet bottles. My opponent is the packaging industry who tried to abolish the deposit return system altogether. I'm fighting the soda companies like, like a David up against Goliath with my surfboard as a weapon. It's become an enormous project involving crowdfunding, Dutch and English collaborations, the building of the board with Bram Hogendijk, who will also accompany me, the camera crew, of course, the security ribs, navigation. This, this all increases the pressure. As the plastic soup surfer, it feels like I'm taking the fate of deposit return on my shoulders to ultimately change the future of trash reaching our seas. This crossing has to succeed. Suddenly it's there, the, the morning, you have to go. I was called by Radio 1, packed everything up and came in Scheveningen and there were the journalists again. The first moment I realized what is going on is, is when I pick up the bar, my gear is laid out for me, that's something I always do myself. And now I look around and see what's going on. See all those people there and I just, I got a lump in my throat. It was just so incredible. It was the first time I actually got to see all those people just being there and, and, and so unconditionally just they're there to support me. And, and I haven't proven anything or done anything yet. And, and still, there they are. As I leave from Scheveningen, from that circus, a brilliant moment when the ribs are still sailing next to us. I see my wife waving, and I know from then on, we have to go for it. And I also know that it will become tougher. The waves will become higher and the wind will increase and shift against us. Geen nu te beseffen waar we aan begonnen zijn. Ik ben vijf minuten onderweg. Ik kijk naar de horizon, er is helemaal niks. En als ik straks achter me kijk, is er ook niks. Waanzinnig. Ga het gewoon doen. Ongelooflijk. What strikes me is that there are parts where we see quite a lot of plastic trash floating. It's, it's not always clear what. I mean, it's lids, balloons. There's always many balloons packaging and that sort of stuff. But at a certain point, there's a large fishing net just floating at the surface and I can't dodge it. The hydrofoil gets entangled. I need the people from the rib to actually free me. How far are we? 137 grams. 137 grams, nice. up. En uh, we hebben uit moeten wijken voor een groot schip. Ze net even wat gegeten. Voelt goed. Moet niet harder gaan waaien alleen. There's this moment when I start singing, just like uh, I did in the training sessions in front of the coast. You're relaxed and you know, I've got it. I've got the balance. It was uh, staying alive very appropriately. 
And I repeat that about a thousand times. People are gathering on Lowestoft Beach to welcome a man who's kite surfing from Holland to Suffolk. The plastic soup surfer set off from the beach at Chavening on a surfboard made from recycled single-use plastic bottles. The sea names are that. Wind is not steady, but the storm is about out and out of where it's veel rustiger. Langzaam begin ik ervan te genieten. I'm aware of Bram's position all the time. Most of the time he's sailing a little upwind from me. He taught me to hydrofoil and actually built the wing I'm standing on. He seems to have a more relaxed stance, but still, but still, he, he must feel these forces too. And most of the time there's too much distance. You know, you shout something and he gives a thumbs up. We sort of keep switching positions uh, until halfway. That's when it really gets tough for me. The wind increases as we get to the middle. Uh, there are showers with a lot of wind in them and the waves start to increase. And I keep being told to head up against that wind, but um, the wind's just too strong. I start to fall and um, that drains all the energy out. Worn out and exhausted. This shouldn't last too long, otherwise, I'm just not going to make it. But then something changes. The wind eases a little, and I get some air. I feel that we're actually going to make this. We're on the and for me, for me, I I see the clouds above the coast opening up and you see the, the buildings of Lowestoft appear. Ah, that gives an enormous boost. I'm told to head up as much as possible. The northerly current is, is ripping by this time as it is a spring tide. And uh, as we are sailing, the wind starts to drop. I lose pressure in my kite and I can't head up anymore. Seeing the finish line, you sink into the water. Of course, it's out of our control, but I feel that if I don't make this, it's all for nothing. I'll come home empty-handed. I'll have to start again. The land was in sight, and we are coming, I think, in the lute of the land. I want not to go so I want to go a little higher. And Bram lag ook still. Bram is about 300 meters down south, and. Suddenly, you don't see Bram's kite anymore, and then you know it's over. There's no way he can sail that last stretch. I mean, I'm still hoping desperately that the wind will return and that maybe I might be able to sail the last part. And as we are navigating towards the coast, the wind starts to increase gradually. And then when it's strong enough again, I get back into the water and sail the last 18 kilometers to the beach. When I reach the beach, there's still people waiting there for me and I, I didn't expect that. Halfway I was thinking, what am I doing? Just before we came in, the wind dropped and uh, we saw, I actually saw land already. So uh, yeah, it's just uh, amazing, amazing. En geweldig om zo aan te komen hier, al die mensen te zien. Ja, waanzinnig. Gewoon de BBC, waanzinnig. 
I was just getting the kids ready for bed and my wife said that there's somebody coming down. She said he's been he's surfed across from Holland. A Dutchman come over here from Scheveningen making a nice uh, statement about the state of the seas. Well, I think it's an incredible thing to do. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Plastic <laughs> tube surfer yes. on board. <laughs> It would be so great if through this project, by surfing to England, we could actually make a difference and have deposit fee extended to small pet bottles in the Netherlands and, and stop that flow of plastic litter into our seas. We would be making history.